Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Olena and in this video I'm going to tell you about communication between testers and others. The content of this video. Reporting defects, ways how to improve communication and sample questions. Mistakes can be made by any person who is involved in software development process, such as business analysts, designers, programmers, testers and others. One of the main responsibilities of testers is to find defects in requirements and failures in software. It is very important to report findings in such a manner that will not be perceived as a criticism. Uh, one developer told me that during regression testing, a tester who found a defect came to his desk showing the defect and blaming him that in previous build the functionality worked fine. The behavior of this tester was not accepted. It was not professional at all. Testers shouldn't criticize work of developers, business analysts or designers or any other people. Testers need good interpersonal skills to communicate factual information about defects, progress and risks in a contractive way. Testers shouldn't be seen as messengers of unwanted news about defects. They should not try to provoke a negative emotional reaction. Testers, as well as other team members, are responsible for quality of software, and they have a common goal of delivering a great product. According to STQB syllabus, there are several ways how to improve communication and relationship between testers and others. Start with collaboration rather than battles. Remind everyone of the common goal of better quality system. Report findings on the product in a neutral, fact-focused way without criticizing the person who created it. Testers should create incident reports but not go to the developer's desk and point out the defects. Mentally put yourself in the position of a person who created a product. Try to understand how other person feels. Confirm that the other person has understood what you have said. There is a physiological element, a cognitive dissonance. For human brain it can be difficult to process uninspected information, especially when it is bad news. So it is important to confirm that the other person has understood what you have said and vice versa. If there is a negative reaction from a developer on defects you reported, don't take it personal. Practice. In which way defects should be reported? Testers should report defects in a neutral, fact-focused way without criticizing the person who created it, right? Testers should tell a person who is responsible for a defect to be more attentive and check his her work more properly. No. Testers should blame developers that they made errors in the code. No, it's false. And the last one. Testers should avoid communication with developers. It is false. So the correct answer is testers should report defects in a neutral, fact-focused way without criticizing the person who created it. A. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in software testing videos, please subscribe. See you in my next videos.